Good morning, first grade. I hope that you are all doing well and had a wonderful weekend. Um, you guys did phenomenal last week with our first week of online learning, so I'm very proud of you and the work is looking amazing. So keep it up and keep working hard because you guys are doing awesome. Um, remember to um, always start our grammar um, with our jingles. So if you haven't listened to your jingles, go ahead and pause the video and I want you to go ahead and sing and refresh um, by singing all of the jingles before we start our singing slow. Um, today we are on lesson B1. Each week we're going to label them a different letter and then one, two, three, four, so that way you can keep up with it and we can keep it straight too. So today is Monday and um, we are doing B1 and in your grammar packet this week it looks just like this, week 29. And then on the first page are the three sentences that we're going to classify together. All right. So again, if you haven't listened to your jingles, go ahead and do that for me. That way they're fresh and you know what to ask yourself. And let's go ahead and get started with our sentence flow. Remember, you can watch this video and then go back to your sentences and do them yourself. Or we can do it together just like we would in class. So go ahead and make sure you have your pencil and your paper and let's get started. All right. Just a reminder that I will read the sentence first and then we will do the sentence flow together. All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead with number one. Number one says, my little brother splashed happily in our pool. And we say, who splashed happily in our pool? Brothers. Subject noun. What is being said about the brothers? Brothers splashed verb. Splashed how? Happily. Adverb. In preposition. In what? Pool. Object of the preposition. Whose pool? Ours. Possessive pronoun. Alright, remember to go back to your subject noun to answer your questions. So let's go to brother and we're going to ask ourselves, what kind of brothers? Little. Adjective. Whose brothers? Mine. Possessive pronoun. Awesome job. All right, there's sentence one. So let's go to number two together. Make sure that you're doing the sentence slow with me and you're asking the questions. If you need a pause to go slower or if you want to watch it and then do it by yourself, remember, go ahead and um, do that too, but make sure you're doing it with me. All right, number two says, The large brown snake crawled slowly over the rotten log and we say what crawled slowly over the rotten log snake subject noun what is being said about the snake snake crawled verb crawled how slowly adverb over preposition over what Log, object of the preposition. What kind of log? Rotten, adjective. The, article, adjective, a. Good, let's go back to the subject now. And we say, what kind of snake? Brown, adjective. What kind of brown snake? Large, adjective. The article adjective A. Remember, there can be more than one adjective. Those, those adjectives are just describing the noun, the subject noun in the sentence. All right. Oh, and I forgot what we did up here. Hopefully you caught me. We did not put in our parentheses the uh, prepositional phrase. So up at the top, my prepositional phrase is in our pool. And then back at sentence two, my prepositional phrase about the snake was over the rotten log. Hopefully you call me. All right, very good. Let's do sentence three together. We looked for my new rabbit after school today. And we say, who looked for my new rabbit after school today? We, subject pronoun. What is being said about we? We looked. Verb <clears throat> for 
Preposition. For what? Rabbit. Object of the preposition. What kind of rabbit? New. Adjective. Whose rabbit? Mine. Possessive pronoun. Let's keep going. After preposition. After what? School. Object of the preposition. When did we look for my new rabbit? Today. Adverb. Alright. And then remember to do your prepositional phrase. Go ahead and do that now. Once you have it, we'll read them together. So we should have had two this time. Prepositional phrases. And my first phrase is for my new rabbit. And the other phrase is after school. Alright guys, so if you need to rewatch this again to make sure that you're doing the sentence flow um, with your sentences or if you've already got it, great job and I will see you tomorrow, Darren Grammer. Bye!